So I've learned that if I make a plan and I don't bring it with me, I end up just sporadically planting stuff wherever it happens to feel like it's going to go. Um, so this plan is based on the, the growth, um, whether it's a cold crop or a warm crop and location and the harvesting dates. So, so that as height becomes a factor, it does not interfere with each other. So, so what I've done is, uh, I started creating a plan in Excel in order to basically say where I'm going to plant stuff. So I now have it on this tablet here that my husband got for free somewhere. I don't know, but I stole it from him because he doesn't need it. He doesn't use it. <laughs> right? Uh, so I now use this as my garden plan. So I take this around and I can basically say, okay, I've already planted this and I've already planted that. And I can move things around and um, basically it's a living document. So if something's not going to work, uh, when I'm out here in the tunnel and I find that it's not quite what I thought it was going to be, or it won't work like I thought it was going to, then I can alter and adjust my plan right here on the spot. I think that was a bee. Huh, nice. So my original thought was, because I had my tomatoes on this side over here with my peppers, that I would then put uh, the tomatoes along that back section all the way along the, the tunnel wall. Because as the temperature starts increasing and the plants start growing, this entire side of the wall is going to come up. And then once I know that there's not going to be any frost damage or risk, then the plastic's coming completely off. And then in the middle of summer, when it's like really, really hot, then we'll put the shade cloth over it to protect everything from the excessive heat of, um, usually it's around mid-July through, uh, through August. And those are really our hottest months here. So uh, along this far, far line here, I'm going to put tomatoes. I'm going to trellis those up, uh, grow them kind of similar to what I did last year. And then down the center of this, I have um, lettuce, because uh, the lettuce is, oh, I'm sorry, I have peas. So I have peas down the center because those are gonna climb up and they're gonna grow. Uh, and the tomatoes are not gonna be going in until about the time that I'm gonna start harvesting the pepper or the peas. And so I can plant from the opposite side. Sorry, that was my phone. And then on the inside, I'm going to plant lettuce because the lettuce is going to be a rotational crop and we're going to do succession planting of those. So I'm going to be harvesting and planting and harvesting and planting and harvesting. Uh, so I need better access than I would if they were behind the peppers or behind the tomatoes. Even though the tomatoes would give them some shade during the hot months and maybe I can get a few varieties to grow during the summer without them bolting. Uh, we're going to be harvesting them so fast that I would rather have them accessible and then just stop producing those during the couple months that we have excessive heat and then start again. Uh, we're going to have other plants growing, other things growing, so I'm not going to be without food. Uh, it's just uh, those types of lettuce are not going to survive in this environment during the hot summer. That's just a matter of fact. <laughs> So I'm going to get started on planting everything and see how it goes. Wait, you stay in here. Maggie, Maggie, get in here. Come on. Nope, go. No, stay in here. Go lay down somewhere. I don't care where. I forgot to collect my harvest from yesterday.
Okay, so this is for the sugar snap peas and the snow peas. And I think what I'm going to probably do is keep the, the red ones up at the very ends in order to grow nasturtium because uh, it is a climber. I do have the climbing variety. I have others too, but I think the nasturtium would look really good right there. So I think I'm going to leave those in place after the peas are done. And then the tomatoes will go on the back side when they're ready to go in. And that will give them a little bit of shade as they start out after transplanting, which will be a benefit. And then by the time that they are ready um, to be uh, left to their own accord, then the peas will come out of the, out. And then, um, of course, the lettuce and stuff that was in the front will come out and I will be able to plant something else in there for the summer crop. Okay, so I've laid out which peas are going where. So I need to document that on my grow plan in Excel so that I won't forget which ones, which ones are which. Because I've done that before. I planted a bunch of peas out and I had like five varieties and when they started growing. And you can tell which ones um, are the sugar snap and which ones are the snow peas, but some of the other uh, peas couldn't tell. Okay, so now that I have it in the plan, I can start planting. That way I won't forget to do it afterwards. Normally I would soak these overnight but um, I'm planting these pretty early, so I don't think they're going to be a problem. And I'm going to uh, make sure that it's wet. And since it's so early in the season in the high tunnel, it'll stay wet longer. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm planting the peas about three inches apart, uh, so that pretty much gives me about 24 to 26 per little section that I'm doing. So that should give me a really good, good harvest uh, come late spring. Okay, you got to see this. This is my little garden helper. It's great when I first start planting stuff and she goes and lays in it my own fault because I let her do it. Okay, so I'm going to water the area down before I start transplanting the lettuce so that it gives it a nice good moisture uh, rich environment for the lettuce uh, to really get kick started. And I can get all my peas in there. Goodness. Yeah, I bought a lot of varieties of peas. All right, let's go see if I have a defrosted hose.
Okay, 110 lettuce planted in here and 125 pea seeds planted in here. So now we need to basically start some more lettuce seeds so that we can su succession plant our lettuce and have a harvest all the way through till the heat of summer when everything's going to start bolting. So I think I am done for today. I will do some more tomorrow because I believe I have more in the greenhouse that needs to be transplanted out. So I think I will call it a day. We will see you again next time. Bye.